Okay, the, the builder pattern. The builder pattern is a creational pattern whose intent is to separate the construction of a complex object from its representation so that you can use the same construction process to create different representations. What does that mean? By the end of the video, you should know. Okay, so uh, it's very similar to a factory, uh, the factory pattern. Uh, the only difference would be you'd use it if the construction of your uh, object is rather complex. You know, uh, just uh, just a little bit of a highlight down here. Um, normally in a factory pattern, you would just return an instance of object A. In the builder pattern, you would call the builder's director construct method here, and that would be like object A construct, and construct is a rather a complex little process if you want. Um, but they both return objects at runtime, so it's really up to you. Okay, so the, uh, the things that I'll be creating are a director class, a uh, iBuilder interface, a concrete builder, and the product. And I'll be putting all that into the context of a house builder. And so while the builder pattern will use the same, while the builder process will still will use the same interface, concrete class, and product class, the director will create the customized representations of those those houses so here I'll I'll have a director that can that creates a castle a director that creates a houseboat and a director that creates an igloo I'll demonstrate all this so anyway let's get coding what I'm going to do is create a file called builder.py and rather than typing all the code I'm going to do a lot of copying and pasting from my already pre-created example that you can download from GitHub. So the first thing I will create is the interface, the iBuilder interface here. This is a little little box up here. Okay, so that is going to have a whole bunch of static methods in it. And there's the interface and it implements the meta class ABC meta. Okay, the builder interface, or the iBuilder, I call it. Okay, so it's got some uh, static abstract methods there. It's an interface. There's no body in any of those. Okay, so the next thing I'll create is the concrete builder, which I will call a house builder down here. And the house builder implements the iHouse builder interface. Okay, so it's called a concrete builder on here, but in this in context version is called the house builder and we need to initialize a house and then there's our function set wall material that are in the interface set building type set building type and number of doors number of door doors and windows and, and finally you get the result that's the final thing and it returns the house Okay, so the next thing I'll do is I'll build the product now. So, and that, in my example, is a house. The house is the product. And it has several things. It has a wall material, which we've set up here. A building type, which we've set up here. Etc, etc. And it has a string method. So when I, when I print... The new house it will print out this is a wall material building type with that many doors and that many windows it's just kept simple the purpose of this tutorial now so we've built the eye builder the concrete builder and the product okay the product is the house Concrete builder is the house builder, and the I, the I builder is the I house builder. There we go. So those those things are set now. Now the next part is the director. Now the director will create its own representations. 
of the house or of the product using the i builder and the concrete builder so i in my um one of the kinds of houses i want to build is an igloo so i've created a, a director class here called the igloo director and it has a construct static method and what it will do is return a house builder building type igloo raw material of ice one door and zero windows and then finally it will get the result let's test that out okay if name main igloo equals igloo director dot construct and then we'll print the the ig, igloo so we are uh, we will call the igloo's string function let's try that out python builder.py this is a ice igloo with one doors and zero windows okay so looking at this picture again i've just created the igloo director i'm now going to create the houseboat director there's a houseboat director and it has a construct static method a building type houseboat wall material wooden six doors and eight windows let's try that out so uh houseboat equals houseboat director dot construct let's uh print the houseboat houseboat okay, let's try that out okay so the first is the igloo then we've got a wooden houseboat with six doors and eight windows okay that's the director now finally we'll call the castle director and get a castle castle director is a type of castle wall material granite number of doors 100 and number of windows 200 let's try that out a castle equals castle director dot construct and let's print print the castle let's try that out okay the granite castle 100 doors and 200 windows okay so what we did was we used the builder method which consists of a director an i builder interface a concrete builder and a returns a product to generate me three different kinds of houses an igloo a houseboat and a castle and uh, all that code is on github there will be a link in the description Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and share.